It could sound so easy, but I know Selvin Ryan in his Sunday Express um, column says that Mr. Pandey and Mr. Mirage are prepared to block Kamala Prasad Bissessa at any cost. Yeah, they prepared to block me too at any cost. But, and, 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 I, and I tell you, and I am not in at all I'm phased by that. And I'm sure neither Ms. Mrs. Prasad Bissessa. There are times in the life of an institution or an organization when whatever you do, you simply cannot stop the, the, the flood, so to speak. You, you, you can't stop the waves from coming to shore. You can't kick against the gold. And in this situation now, they can do what they want. And the more they, they can, they can try. To look, up to last Sunday, in Karani, I was in I was in uh, in, in Lapai Village, and I was in Frederick Settlement, on Boxing Day, and people who had Mr. Pandey's picture on on the wall took it down, you know, and they were telling me that guys who are supposed to be election supervisors in Shogunas West were campaigning for Mr. Pandey and were meeting insults. Guys will be having forms. Though, though of course, the date for making new members is officially closed. There were guys in Mr. Pandey's camp with forms trying to get membership in, of course, uh, um, 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 Shogunas West. And they were failing. We have heard even talks, discussions about CPEP workers and oak workers being, be, being of course, uh, uh, um, forced to, to, to join the party so as to support Mr. Pandey as a quid pro quo for what he did for Mr. Manning against Rowley and so on in, in the election. We have heard that. And if that is the Do case, you believe? The, I, but I, can, I have no cause to doubt it. Because the fact is, all the, all the things are stacked, are stacked against what I would consider to be a, a, a true, a truly transparent election. Everything is stacked against it. And, and I said to you this morning, even then, even though that is the case, I remain unfazed because they can do what they want. They can do what they want. The walls will come tumbling down on January 24th. That's why I told people, you know, I said to postpone Christmas. Let the children, ha, ha, let the children have December 25th as their Christmas day. I say, adults, your Christmas day is January 25th. That is the day you celebrate Christmas. That is the day for liberation for the party. And, and there's no bitterness. Is it just the fact that, of course, there are some people who are opposed to change, and we must ins ins insist that they don't derail this movement? And given all that you've said, it seems that Mr. Pandey, as well as unfazed and very, very confident that come January 24th, I think it is, that he is going to reign supreme, he is going to win this. In our conversation with political uh, analyst uh, Derek Ramsamud, she says, this kind of, of excitement, political excitement, is almost like political Viagra for Mr. Pandey. This is what he thrives on. And, and a lot of people believe that at the end of the day, he is going to be the one standing. I know that Viagra kills some people when they overuse it, eh? I know Viagra, of course, particularly when you're old, and you, and you don't realize that your that time for Viagra is over, and you still use it. I know a couple of guys who have died, and if this is political Viagra, who knows what that will do for Mr. Pandey? Time will tell. They, they, you know, there are guys, there are guys even today, you know what pains me? There are guys who are content, who tell you, honestly, that if Mr. Pandey wins, we shall be in opposition forever. They know that. They say it, even privately, and yet for all. In spite of that, they are still, of course, pandeites. Now, how do you explain this dichotomy? I can't understand. You, do you want to be in opposition for life? And do you want to have money for life? Because I tell you, the answer to Pandey being in, 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 at the head of the party is opposition for life. And the answer for that is money for life. That's what you want for your children. That's what you want when you go to the, to the hospitals. That's what you want when you go, of course, to, 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 to um, the schools and so on. That's what you want in traffic jam and roads and electricity. Do the things you want. And I repeat, if that's what you want, then, of course, you have not been fair to those people you represent because that's not what they want. We just want to invite our listeners uh, to send in their text messages. And we're also going to open up the phone lines in a little while, but you can send in your text messages in the meantime. To 78247. Uh, just type in talk, which is your keyword, leave a space, type your message, and send all of that to 78247. And Mr. Warner, we already have a couple text messages coming in here. Um, uh, one person saying, Jack and Ramesh already crying like sore losers. Maybe only Jack wants change and not the membership. How could the voter list be good if anyone else, and it's a bit tr truncated, but uh, firstly, the issue with the voter list, what is the latest you've heard on it? It's supposed to have the voter list by January 3rd for three days, the 3rd to the 6th, when the list shall be scrutinized. 
I have 50 persons who are employed sitting by to look at the, at the list when they come and to call people and to make sure that the list can be verifiable. And therefore, it's in that context, I'm waiting, um, for me, I'm the jury is out and I'm awaiting the submission of, of the list, on, as, as they have said. Mm. Yes, but this question of, of you uh, acting like a sore loser, taking in front so as it loser. work. So loser, well, as it were. I, 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 I don't, I don't accept the view of a sole loser. The fact is, I make it, I make the point repeatedly, Miss, that politics can offer me nothing that I don't have. You know, I am doing this, of course, for the people of the country who, have, who, who I believe deserve a better deal. I'm doing this for the young people. I'm doing this, this, of course, for the those unborn children who come into the world eventually and who want to get a safer place. We have passed 502 uh, murders. And, and, and if people are comfortable with that, I am not. And I'm saying, therefore, so they are not a loser. Whatever happens, whatever happens, I'll be a winner. In fact, uh, in the very election we are having now, the very election, and the heat is a generated and so on, and the fact that we have an election at all makes me a winner. Okay, we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to be taking your calls as well as your text messages as we continue our conversation with Jack Warner and focus on the UNC internal party elections. Stay with us. This is Talk City 91.1 FM, your address for talk, intelligent talk. TSTT is giving you the time you need to do the things you want. Now you can pay your TSTT Blink, Broadband and B-Mobile bills at Select B-Mobile dealers. It's private, secure and there's no need to wait in line. Just look for the way to pay, sign and save some time. Brought to you by TSTT. What goes in is a local something that makes it all, that makes it all. And we're looking at 6.33. Yes, it's approaching 6.33 here on First Up, the first stop in your busy day. Uh, we're looking at the UNC internal party elections. We've got Jack Warner, the MP for Shagwanis West, in studio with us this morning. We're going to be opening up the phone lines in a bit, as well as taking your text messages on the issue. And Mr. Warner, um, just before we took the break, you said... You're not being a sore loser. You are uh, dismissing all of that. That's People right. can say what they want, but as far as you're concerned, the change is coming. Nobody can stop it. That's right. Okay. Now, um, some people are wondering if you've if you've changed alliances or allegiances, as it were, because you and Winston Peters and Ramesh Mirage had a sort of a coalition pushing for change in the UNC. Now it seems as though you have not been supporting Mr. Mirage since he announced his candidacy for the leadership contest. What's the real story there and you correct we have been pushing for change in the UNC we have been calling for internal party elections at no point in time did we say privately or publicly that if elections are, are held we shall support each other and so on the fact remains that I even said to Mr. Maraj tell me only if you're going up and if you're going up I will of course support you for a seat he didn't say I would until until Mrs. Bissessa entered the, the ring so, so to speak and for me it is not, of course, about support and endorsement. It is who is most electable. It is who is most electable. And from where I sit, Mrs. Prasad Bissessa is the most electable person 
I'm, I'm among the three. Uh, Mrs. Kosalbi says, and I have had our differences, but I rarely imagined. But I must see the bigger picture. The bigger and the bigger picture is trying to bagel. And I, I said before, I say again, Mrs. Kosalbi says that time has come, and nobody could stop that. And that is that is where I stand. Okay. On the issue of Mrs. Pasad Bissessa, you know, there's some fraternities that 